Hey guys, this is Songbird Ultralight, and Dan and I are going on another last minute adventure. Awesome. Hey guys, Songbird here. Anyway, so we are heading to Sitico right now. It is gonna be about an hour and a half to like get there. It's gonna be well after dark. It's gonna get there late whenever. Just figure it out, go to sleep. In the morning, wake up, have breakfast, hike into the wilderness area, and uh, spend a lot of time finding a good place to fish, finding a good place to camp. Really what we wanna do is we wanna go back in as far as we can and just explore. We should have temperatures getting down pretty close to freezing in the mountains. It's still spring. Uh, there's still those cold snaps at night, but you know, it's spring, so it's 33 degrees, 32 degrees. That's like the extreme low. Like that's as low as it's gonna get, even at elevation. Now that said, we are being extremely careful. Uh, we're trying to make sure that we are prepared for temperatures in the 20s. You know, just in case that happens, um, in case it's a little colder than expected, always be ready for it to be like 10, 20 degrees colder than the forecast, right? Because the forecast is usually down from elevation, it's down in the valley where the city is, and it's warmer temperatures. You go up, oh man, why is it snowing, you know? I'm just doing the poncho tarp and bivy. I'm not doing any tent or anything like that. My buddy Dan is bringing his tent. If it gets really nasty and really bad, I'm gonna stay in the poncho tarp. So, you know, where maybe we get some rain on Sunday, possibly Saturday night, um, it's pretty cool to just have that shelter, that poncho tarp, and you use it, and it does a really good job as a shelter. And if you have to get out when it's raining to pee or something, then you just kind of deal with it. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you, uh, there's the pack right there. It's the Hyperlite Southwest. I've got probably a day and a half of food. Uh, it's kind of stretching it. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. I've got my two days tomorrow and Sunday my fishing permit so I should be able to catch some fish and we should be able to eat some fish tacos for lunch tomorrow all right got to Sitico Creek wilderness area at the parking lot found Dan there's Dan with his Christmas lights these Christmas lights Ooh, aliens and uh, once I saw the Christmas lights I knew it was his car um, that was some of the most fun driving I've ever done Dude, in my that car. So fun to navigate. This one right here, yeah. right before you get, like right after Teleco Plains. Yep. Oh. Into... Dude. Brrr. So much fun. Um, so I don't remember it being that fun whenever we came here last time. No, dude. It was, it was awesome. I I think we were distracted from it, like by myself yeah. driving as fast as possible down I that road. Didn't realize this gravel road was as long as it was. Yeah. Until, I, uh, I had fun on the gravel too, dude. Yeah. But you can't you know, hit the bumps. Yeah, this is from. What's that from? It's from Bonnaroo. Uh, really? Yeah. Huge crowd, no cell service. You want to find someone in the crowd? Like I'm wiggling my Christmas tree. That's hilarious. <laughs> So we're gonna um, set up camp here. Honestly, if we're gonna sleep right here, I might just pass out in the back seat. <laughs> I'm lazy. You should know this from the old videos on trail. I am the laziest hiker ever. That's why I'm ultralight. Um, so here's here's the full pack. I've got this and another headlamp, and uh, we're going to uh, chill for the night. We'll see you in the morning. You got your uh, bowl or cup or something? Um, dude, I mean, I just. Are you, like, not going to be able to eat all of it? I mean, probably not. I don't know. Then just eat what you want. Like, I'll just taste it and then I'll eat the rest. Like, I, I'm really not hungry at all. I will be in the morning. I'll just go grab my spoon. There's the car over there. Well, hey guys. It is Saturday morning. We are walking along the creek here on the Sitico Creek Trail. Fishing pole's getting caught. Probably half a mile in. And uh, the plan is to hike back deeper than ever before. 
and get back into these fishing areas where maybe some of the other guys and their waders haven't walked to because it's like four or five miles in. So a couple creek crossings today probably um, and having to uh, deal with cold water on bare feet. That'll be fun. That's a nice spot. A, good day, a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work. Oh yeah. It's better than the best day at work. Dude, that's got it. That's gnarly. You want to cast that real quick? This is where you lost your lure. Is it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't think it's still there. I bet you it is. You're right. That is where I lost it. Dude, look at that pool. If it wasn't freezing cold, that'd be a good swimming spot. So Hadley and I started swimming in the creeks uh, closer to Chattanooga. We were like this, but all kinds of shit in them. Oh yeah, trash, broken glass, all kinds of stuff, but uh, <laughs> but uh, there's like, you know Blue Hole? Yeah. Yeah. That's where we've been trying to go and like free dive in the creek with our wetsuits on. And we're going to start looking for stuff people have lost, like sunglasses and stuff like that. Right. GoPros. Cool. Yeah, yeah. There? I saw a channel this guy started looking for arrowheads and slate points yeah. and started finding gold and then he went and got a gold claim <laughs> and he just goes down holding his breath and kind of fans the dirt away and uh, comes up with nuggets. It's crazy. It's All the like gold gets see, caught like up. Those little, it's like little spots like that. Yeah. Um, where like the looser rock and dirt are. Yeah. If you dig into those, a lot of the time, gold's heavier. Yeah. So it'll settle at the bottom whenever there's like a big rain. That's pretty cool. It's not a lot. No, but like it adds up. He yeah. found like a couple grams, dude. And it, it's like. It's more of one of those like table hobbies. You know I mean? Like metal stuff like that. Like. Here's that last campsite. There's Dan for scale. That's where we said goodbye to you guys last time and walked back. Dude, I didn't know Hammocks. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. I didn't notice that last time. Yeah. That's cool. Didn't you catch that fish down there? Somewhere down here? I want to say it was not here, but it was one over. Yeah, I don't know. Because we killed it on a rock over there, and I brought it right over. And it might have been right here. That that pool is nice right there. Yeah, Come back and hit that up. If they haven't fished it out already. This is so cool. Look at that, dude. I think... I'm trying to take my shoes off and do it barefoot. That's pretty shallow right there. I'm gonna roll my pants up and get right across. It's not bad. Do this to yourself. I don't know, man. I don't know why you do this to yourself. I can feel the blood going out of my my limbs. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, it's cold. Oh, you think he can beat me? You think he can get across? No, I'm gonna try to get more than one skip and just pull something back up. Okay. Two, three. Woo, oh, got three. I don't know. It's bouncing off the wall. That was three. That was three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce it onto the other side. <laughs> Dude, you're like nailing that center of that. I am a, I'm a laser, I'm a laser accurate pawn skipper. <laughs> oh, we can rock off that. That looks pretty good down there. Let's see where the main crossing is. I'm going, I'm going around. Ooh, nice little sit here. I'll we'll go over it. Oops, All right. See the path where the people are coming through here. Oh, oh yeah. This is a good set. Oh, for this step. Good place to twist an ankle. Impale yourself. Oh. Yeah. Careful stepping down off that big log. It's it looks solid, but it's not. Oh yeah, baby. Snagging on everything. I'm gonna break my fishing pole. Oh, no way. There we go. Come on, so bad. Yeah, right there. That's a big step, but it's solid. Borrow my stick if you want it. Tacky, like a little stick. Yeah. Here, you can use this too. I use this for balance getting across. Give me your pole. My chest mounted iPhone. I don't know what my plan is here, bro. I think I'm gonna do the shuffle, bro. <sighs> Woo! Do the spider web shuffle. Yeah, super slick. You probably wanna hand me that, uh, that, that fishing rod. All right, go for it. I would recommend putting your hands down. Woo, baby. And kind of use it to like transfer your weight forward. Oh, oh no. Whatever. Sleeping barefoot tonight, boy. Yeah, I guess we, I have extra socks. I don't know why I'm not getting my feet wet. Other than the fact that it would suck. Here's your thing. It was worth a shot. Hey, one wet foot's better than two wet feet. Oh. That is the truest words ever spoken. Golly. Ugh. 
Yeah, baby. All right, let's go up this sucker right here. Right there, next to me. What? Woo! Right there. Uh, Hand it up. That's where a lighter pack really comes in handy. Good job. Dude, it looks so badass with your AT sticker and your fishnet. <laughs> your fishnet looks so cool. I wish we had to get back on trail here. What now? I said last year's tag was red and I was really jealous. Oh, that. you like red better than yellow? That's gotta be a six spot right there. There's gotta be something in there. Oh, dude, yeah. I don't wanna throw my shadow on it. So you gotta, well, it's shadow's going that way, like this. So just, yeah, if you drop your pack, you can sneak that way. Yeah. Gotta sneak up on the fish. All right, so, so far we've been skunked. Uh, we're probably like a third of the way in to the um, terminus of the trail where it meets up with the other trail. And we're debating doing a loop, but uh, there's not water for a significant portion of the next trail. So maybe camp at the terminus of this trail at the junction with the other one, and then make our way with fresh water supply in the morning. All right, so Dan's over there changing down his lure. He's gonna put a rooster tail on. Um, there was a huge, it looked like a rainbow, honestly. It was right here in this pool. And uh, if, if I could see him again, I'll zoom in on him. But I'm up on this opposite bank. It's really steep. I've got a height advantage looking down. And I can see into the water with my sunglasses on. So I'm kind of spotting for Dan. Hopefully he can catch this big monster. This will feed us. This will be dinner, dude. For what it is, it's a pretty well built little hatchet. Yeah, it's a nice little hatchet. Buck. Buck knife. <laughs> yeah. Making some handling. We can get the fire started easily. Not have to like run around like chickens with their heads cut off trying to get more small sticks. And do a little punisher on the, uh, little punish test on the uh, Mora.
Mamas don't let you be. That's a knot there, huh? I might just call that one. Carefully work it loose. That one's just not worth splitting. Not worth splitting. Silky saw is awesome. All right. It's probably the last one of these I do. I'll throw a bunch of small stitches on there. Yeah. Put the small What if like years from now, like people forget these skills and they use like your videos as like almost borderline or just text? Like, uh, <laughs> oh, hail Songbird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's probably much better um, skills videos for bushcrafters, but like mine are the only ones that are Bermain. Yeah. They're the only ones they find backed up on a three terabyte hard drive. Wow. This Look at this. He really cared about himself. <laughs> what? I said this guy really cared about himself. I'm not kidding. Cared about himself? Yeah. Oh, backing like, up all my videos? Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. I mean, I do. Um, I pretty much think I'm the coolest thing ever. Baddest mofo to walk the planet. Alpha to Alpha. Uh, <coughs> it bothers some people that, like, he has to have that, like, satisfaction of, you know, like, my name's gonna be remembered throughout history. Yeah. Like, I almost take satisfaction in like it not. You know what I mean? Just like yeah. And kind of not. It's kind of faded away. It's kind of here. Like, it's kind of disappeared oh. over time. All right. I mean, that kind of cool in its own way. You can just kind of do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I think at the end of the day. Bird nest in this you want me to go grab it? What's up? You want me to grab mine? Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I got one. Does it have a striker with it or is it just a... Um, use my saw. Yeah, if you just... Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I watched it, make sure it didn't continue to burn. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Now there's, oh shit, the glove is on fire. Look at that dude. Jesus. Put a little small stuff on here real quick. Okay, you just like turned it and the whole thing just whoop. Yeah. It had, throws like, a good spark, it had though. A lot of, it had a lot of sap in it too, that wood. Oh yeah? This is the same tree. Hopefully none of those are river rocks. They don't look like it. Why right, blow up? Yeah, it'll explode. Those perfect pieces. All right, so we're gonna get a bed of coals up. We've got the rocks in the center to make a little stand for the pot right there. We've got some rice pre-soaking, and um, we'll go check the line and see if we've got any fish.
Did some work. It's about time to take the sunglasses off. Did some work here, and uh, I'll show you the pile of wood. I feel like that's pretty respectable. The rocks make it look taller than it is. That's all, I guess, get the fire burning again, cooking stuff. This is all like big loose branches. This was all punky. I cut up one piece of it, you can see it there, the white one. It's not really worth anything. We'll burn it once the fire gets hot enough. And that's gonna be a nice big old bed of coals, hopefully. And we'll be able to uh, put the billy can on there and uh, get the rice cooking here in a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, see if I can catch a fish real quick before it gets too dark. And then uh, honestly, before it gets too, too dark, I better set up camp. And uh, there's plenty of spots around here, so it's not like a, an emergency or anything, but it'd be pretty nice to uh, have a good spot where there's nothing gonna, no twigs are gonna fall on me during the night. Um, and uh, if it's gonna rain, I wanna pick out a spot where there's gonna be good um, water flow around the campsite. This is the only pot you can do in the woods, guys, boys and girls. That is a pot hanger constructed of pure brawn and male intuition right there is what that is. So we're going to get this rice water boiling and um, might be eat some tacos. Yeah. Woo! Even though it's working right now, it ain't working. <laughs> if it ain't broke, I mean you can still fix it. I don't understand this. I don't understand this saying. Alright. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good center point. I feel good about that one. So bad. <laughs> How are you gonna hammer it in, Dan? Oh man, I don't know. I haven't thought of that yet. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far. Whoa, there, buddy. What are you, some kind of scientist? Hey, Jesus. All right, hey, one thing at a time. All right, bud. All right, bud. Dan Ford, good buddy. Dude, this knife has stayed so sharp. It for, is unbelievable. For quite a while. Can you believe it? Like at five, five seventy. So has it? Should be S thirty V. S thirty V. S thirty V. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what that does, bro. It's like it's gotten sharper as I use it. <laughs> it's my favorite knife I've ever owned. If I'm being honest. I believe you. I think it's been through a lot. If I have it, the rest of my life will be happy. Dunk. You smash your fingers. You need a bigger rock, boy? We just need a hog. Good job, Dan. Now it's a foot too high. But now she's rock solid. Oh yeah, you can, you can cook it in a storm. Yeah. We need a it little lower. Out. We Thanks. need a little lower. To be to be frank. Can I still be Garth? No. I still be Garth. It will drive. There you go. So now it's just better in general. Uh, yeah. Good job, Dan. That's why you call it a sport. Good job, Dan. And now I'll just, the minute you put it on there, it's gonna sink right down in there. Ooh, it popped at me. Okay, you're holding it. There it is. Right there, see that thing? You could sit on that. What are we making with this? Huh? What are you gonna make with this? <laughs> it's already boiling rice. Oh. I'm just gonna let it sit there until it's definitely well, well, well done, and then we'll eat it. <laughs> it might be mushy. Put tuna, tuna pack in it, mix it up, and that'd be good. Could do, could do. You know, I should put my beans in there to, to heat up too. I forgot it. I forgot the beans. Since since we're gonna be vegan tonight, obviously. Will you uh, start that, stop that video and start it again? And action. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix the beans in with that because it can't taste bad. Scene 32, take six. Action. <laughs> uh, you gonna mix the beans in with that juice? Huh? With that juice? Yeah, why not? Think it'll be good? I'm not gonna hurt anything. Just a little extra li look at. I love being homeless. <laughs> being homeless it's, with fun, it's fun. It's fun playing homeless with friends. Hey, you wanna go in the woods and pretend like we was homeless? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Hell yeah. Almost people must hate being like, oh, I love camping. Like, <laughs> seriously. Oh, dude, I get what you're saying. Make a cheese dip. Look at the my dip. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Man, you're a genius. <laughs> Thank you. God, I wish I had tortilla chips. <laughs> what now? So I wish I had tortilla chips. It'd make this whole thing a lot better. Yeah, I'm make clean, it pretty actually. good. What? Make it pretty good. Rice and beans. Rice and beans. So, throw that back on the fire. And, uh, yeah. That'll be that. Mamas, don't let your boys grow up to be through hikers. Yeah, boys, don't let your mamas grow up to be babies. Wait. Side note, I've learned that having a spoon is better than having a spork or anything else. Oh, yeah, dude. I've, I've learned that lesson. It is just... It's so much better. It's just the way it is. Dan's lightning fast is setting up his tent. All right, so um, we've got our spots picked out over here. <laughs> you like that transition? We've got our spots picked out over here, and uh, I am going to set up my tarp, and Dan is going to set up his behemoth tent. And you see the spots over here. We're going to go over here, set the camera up, do a time lapse. So you guys don't watch 15 minutes of setup. Um, some general setup considerations. You know the sun's setting over there, it's west. We know that is south, and we know that the weather's probably gonna come from there. We have this shield kind of See setup here with these two mountains. What now? See if there's weather at all. If there's weather. Well, the wind at least, Dan. God, damn it, Dan. All right. Anyway, so he's just a weatherman, don't mind him. So uh he's just a weatherman, don't listen to him. Um, so this is my spot over here, and that's Dan's spot over there. I've pounded in a tent stake, and I'm going to try to go diagonally between there and there. The kind of block weather coming from this direction. So I'm going to set up the camera, and we'll see how it goes. All right, I guess that's our camera angle. This is the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL1, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Yeah. And this is the tarp setup. I did like a pretty high. I just dropped that backside um, in case there's any rain from the southwest. Again, if it starts raining or something, I can lower, I can lower that corner down and make it into like a an a like an improvised a frame or something. I don't know, but it'll be fine. Get all that shenanigans packed back in your bag. Yeah. Look at that beautiful, spacious tent. Oh, it doesn't matter what way the rain comes in the tent. But if the rain comes from this direction, we are screwed, fans. All right, I'm gonna get my cell phone charger out. See this big Agnes? I changed those, I snipped those off, and I put the, put the big Agnes fly creek, whatever, on there instead. What's the wrong zipper? Hold this. Thank you. Get that out. Boom. Whew. I don't need fire steel again, I don't think. Did you see how crazy fast that went up? That was nuts. That was awesome. Oh, is it alive? Is it alive? We'll have to bring the fire back and get the rice cooking the rest of the way.
Making my way down the trail here. Um, Dan is still asleep. I've been up since six, it's nine now, so. Definitely can't be accused of sleeping in today. I'm uh, walking along the river bank here. Creek bank. The brook, I don't know. Foggy, my friend, that I hiked with through a lot of Maine. Probably be very disappointed that I've forgotten all of the terminology he taught me, tried to teach me. Um, what's the problem? Everything wants to get snagged. Everything snags all the time. The thorn bushes are just like, ugh. All right, sorry about that. I'm trying this longer line method. I'm trying a new way of doing things here with the cane pole since it uh, didn't get any joy yesterday. And uh, this extra line is a little hard to manage. Probably invest in a fly reel at some point. So I found a pretty good little bunch of uh, rapids here. Some slower water. I actually found a better spot, so I'm gonna bring you over there. This seems much, much nicer over here. I didn't realize I could get down around here without falling. Set that up right next to the water on this uh, gravel bank here. Pretty nice shot, I think. You see, you gotta be right over here. Dan came up behind me and scared the sh out of me. That's why we keep the camera on. I'm gonna go get some food. All right, so, um, got skunked yesterday. Didn't catch anything this morning either. Um, we're gonna probably pack up camp here, make our way back down to where the car is, and then uh, probably blow the cars up and then fish um, the actual river um, there's a lot more open spaces and Dan can cast and I can use a little longer line and uh, maybe there would be some some decent fish down there um, maybe there's a reason we don't see a bunch of anglers up here <laughs> this is a little harder um, we also realize we don't really know as much as we probably should like uh, what time of year should we use what type of lures and stuff so um, it's kind of neat to have this as a starting point and then uh, we want to get more serious about it here in the future. We're going to be able to um, kind of grow as a hobby, you know? So I'll probably end up getting a fly rod um, in the next couple months and like learning it in the backyard and stuff. So anyway, we're going to go uh, pack up. I'm going to time lapse that. And then uh, we're going to make our way back to camp, base camp. So we got camp all cleaned up, 
putting the fire out and uh, we're gonna cruise back to the parking lot. Dan's gotta get out of here. And uh, I am going to fish until, I don't know, I get tired before dark and then head out and check in with Hadley. Um, it's a good night, slept really well. Um, super good sleep. Slept six hours, didn't wake up, nothing. Um, maybe turned over once, but I don't even really, like I woke up facing a different direction, but I don't really remember being up or anything, so. Um, sometimes I'll hear stuff and like it keeps me up, so what I do is I just put like a little earbud in or just have, like if I'm by myself, I have my phone playing sound out loud. I listen to like 10 minutes of a podcast or uh, of a book on tape more likely, just pass out. So we're gonna head out of here and I'll see you down river. I'm just gonna step in with my shoes on. A lot more confident with sneakers on versus uh, wearing the sandals trying to cross. Exposed toes and stuff. Sneakers have more grip, I feel like. More security protecting your foot. That toe box. Oh, now? It's where we crossed again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is where we crossed again. Rocks are really slippery, you gotta be careful. I might put my phone away for this one. Yeah, I don't wanna fall, I don't wanna drop it. I'm gonna get him crossing first. See his pants, those are car hearts, we'll see how fast they drive. <laughs> Probably faster than mine. Alright, I'm gonna go now. Not so bad. They kind of shed the water, honestly. They're not really... It's very little soaking. I guess it's such a tight weave that it doesn't really want to stay wet. Um, that's a good thing. Probably saw Dan there waiting for me to uh, go across. First few crossings. It's not good to like remain within earshot of your friends. Stream crossings are probably the most dangerous thing you'll do out in the woods. To the effect that you probably shouldn't do stream crossings without at least one other person in your group. Um, it doesn't take a lot of water for your ankle to get pinned and you get knocked over, you slip, and uh, you could drown in like a couple inches of water. Um, so force of the water is not something to be messed with. The slippery rocks will easily lead to a knee sprain, ankle injury, broken ankle. Uh, when you enter the water, it's good to sit down. If you're stepping down into slippery rocks, just sit on your butt, put your feet down bugs and uh, make sure that you do it smart have your low center of gravity have your weight low already so if you do slip you're not falling from standing height and breaking something you know a bunch of times there we go huh oh uh, yeah sure should already be recording all right Yeah, I really stepped in that hole. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's back over here. This was the spot where we saw that big trout yesterday. Hard to pass like a few casts. On the way back. Chance of getting a monster.
I'm gonna get you walking towards me. Yeah. Came back rough that day. And like pouring rain, dude. Like like torrential downpour. Yeah. Right? And a few things happened in that area I thought were like notable. It's pretty cool. So I'm walking and I like I like to think that I sparked in one of those people, one of those kids the interest of doing a trail at some point in their life. Yeah, if it was perfect like this every single day, you'd finish the trail in half the time. You know, no one would quit. I don't know how. Like, Igloo was saying that it didn't change at all. You guys come out here, I don't feel changed at all. Yeah, some yeah. people are like that. I don't see how. Yeah, I don't see how it's possible. Maybe she's already in that mindset, though. You know, she's super, like, straightforward and analytical. Yeah. And so, like, maybe her perspective is just like that already. Yeah, we uh, we crossed higher up. We rock hopped that, remember? That's where you slipped. That's where the stick broke. Right there's where the stick broke. Oh, yeah. So we didn't go up that, we just went over there. We just went up that way before. Yeah. No, it's uh, knee deep here though. Knee deep, probably in some spots. Dude, I tweaked my knee again. I'm trying to avoid that. Yeah, my knee is on fire. Just coming down that hill there. Might have to take a. Uh, and I'll leave. Yeah. Squeezing through the lemon squeeze. You remember the lemon squeeze? Yeah. He like couldn't fit through it. That was funny. We didn't zigzag at one point on the map. We didn't go to that. Five crossings already and we have two left? Yeah. Either trees squeaking on each other or a crazy bird. It's a tree. Tree leaning on a tree. Huh? Oh. Hey, water. Stream crossing seven? I did all this yesterday and I didn't get my feet wet. Use my sandals. Oh dude. The left knee that I heard on trail is getting aggravated from these slippery rocks and going downhill. And uh gonna have to take a leave probably here in a few minutes I'm gonna try not to but that was the last stream crossing it is now 1248 you see they're not completely soaked through maybe five miles 
maximum five miles. Uh, lots of stream crossings, lots of little fishing spots on the way. So it took all day to get to where we were going because we were having fun along the way. But anyway, gonna see how long it takes for these pants to dry. We spotted a fish here. Shallow area, yeah. Uh, he's way left of that. You can see him there probably on the left. He's going downstream cast out in front of them. All right. Man, it's, that's frustrating. He's right there. That's so frustrating. Y'all have seen this before. Big, big, big drop. I think I'm gonna go in, I think I'm starting to go a little hoarse from all the coughing post nasal drip. The voice sounds like a radio voice. Hey, how are you doing today? This is Songbird. Gotta do the intro with that. Whew. We're back. Gotta dig my keys out. No windows broken. No ticket on the window. Oh yeah. All right guys, we are done. It was a fun trip. We didn't catch any fish. No. I'm gonna hang out for a little while longer and see if I can magically make something happen since I bought the pass for today, but. Hopefully. Good trip, dude. Yeah, man. Thanks for hanging out. And, good time. Uh, we'll see you, we'll see Dan again in the next episode of Last Minute Adventures. <laughs>